You're listening to the Evil Metal Gamers Podcast. Welcome, guys, to another episode of Evil Metal Gamers Podcast. Today is October 21st, 2018, and this is episode number 52. This is... Hey, <laughs> My name is Jose Rodan. I'm Frank Barna. And this, and you're listening to the Evil Metal Gamers Podcast, where you hear all your geek news. All week. Every week. So this, guys, is actually attempt number two in trying to record this episode. Because Uh, Blizzard wants to go (laughs) and lend out their fucking server to goddamn Call of Duty. And all of them trolls out there are taking up the servers for actual gamers. Well, <laughs> to explain, we use Battle.net in order to communicate with each other. We're not actually sitting beside each other, which I'm sure everybody knows. But uh, we record from our homes and we use uh, Battle.net in order to be able to communicate with each other. And last weekend, Battle.net was a disastrous mess. And we came to the assumption that it's because the new Call of Duty came out and everybody was on Battle.net. But hey, it looks like everything's good today, so I guess Call of Duty already lost its popularity. Well, no. I've been reading. It's it's one of the finer uh, Call of Duties out there. They, they're saying it's really smooth and all that, so... Yeah, because the graphics I, don't look that great, but I mean... I, but it's gameplay, and, th- I, and I, I think that's... Did I tell you that I rented it? No. I rented it on Redbox and I came home and uh, I have totally forgotten that I don't have uh, PlayStation Plus. Ha! <laughs> and I couldn't play it. How stupid is that? That's balls. Of course it's balls, especially when the game is only multiplayer. That's funny, though. I totally That's forgot. That's funny. So I return it back. And now I'm looking at it to see if it's there. It's impossible to find it anywhere. I can't find it. It is what it is. I, I just wanted to, you know, I want to be able to play something and be able to talk to, about the game. I don't want to be the, oh, I'm not going to play it, you know. It's a popular game. And it's not, it's not always been bad lately it's been bad but this one's supposed to be different from the other ones especially since there is no uh, campaign mode so you would assume there has to be something special on the multiplayer mode but nope it did not happen for me which sucks so I'm keeping my fingers crossed Red Dead is not online right Red Dead is going to be offline. Well, yeah, yeah, it's going to be offline for a while. They're, they're predicting. People are saying that the online is going to come on in a month. I would honestly be shocked if it came on in a month. I'm expecting that it's going to be like a January kind of release just because of the magnitude of how big the game is. Um, I think the beta launches in November, but I don't think it'll be ready in December. There's no way. Well, by then I should have PlayStation Plus, but right now I don't have it since I haven't been working. So as soon as I start working, which it should be next month, I'll be able to put it back up and jump in there and be able to play multiplayer and stuff like that. Because I want to play multiplayer in that game, especially if it's going to be like we can do posses and stuff like that. But uh, talking about Red Dead, two discs. You heard about this? Have you seen the pictures? Is it real or is it fake? I don't know. I I'm I'm assuming it's real. They say it's one disc for uh download and one disc to play. That I mean, of, I mean it, it's it, huge. We haven't seen a game this big. Which I is think fine. the biggest game, I think the biggest game that's been out there um Personally, I think that uh, Final Fantasy 15 for me 
at least was it with, 90, uh, 90 something gigs yeah but that's with all the dlcs that the game has had okay so at, the- and and same thing with grand theft auto 5 grand theft auto 5 is coming in around 80 something but once again that's all those dlcs for the multiplayer I think the division's pretty high too. I think the division peaks in around sixty. I could be wrong with that. It's still but those ninety something, almost a hundred gigs. But it's okay because they're giving you two discs, but it's not like old school PlayStation where you have to play the game and then it tells you to put second disc. Yeah, you it's know. it's a game that is literally no. It's we've just never download seen anything one, like it. One disc is just yeah, and one disc is just to download the game. The other disc is to play it. So it's not like you're going to be interrupted halfway and then it's going to say, please insert a disc too, a la Final Fantasy. Remember Final Fantasy old days? When it came I, with I four remember. Discs? Yeah. Well, that was one of the reasons why Metal Gear Solid 4 wasn't going to come out for the Xbox. Hideo said it was going to be like six discs. And if, I, if I'm not mistaken, Metal Gear was two discs, right? Yeah. And they even made fun of that in the in the game. I think because when think you go you put, back to Shadow Moses, you go down the stairs and Otacon calls you because you need to put in the disc. Oh wait, this is the PlayStation Three with the most powerful cell processor. Blah 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 blah. Nah, we don't I got have a to good, do that. <laughs> I got a good chuckle out of that one. Well, he's always done those in this game. He he. What there's a term for that? Uh, what what um what's his name? What Deadpool does? Hideo? No, Deadpool does it Oh, too. the fourth wall. The fourth wall. Yeah, breaking wall. the fourth wall. Breaking the yeah. fourth wall. And, you know, when you use the... I remember, too, I think it was after the torture scene, right? After the yeah. torture scene, that's when they tell you to put this, too. Yeah. God, good times. It's okay, so, but like I said, once again, if you guys see two discs, don't freak out. It's that one of them has to be big enough to hold the, the game. If I'm not mistaken, one Blu-ray, I might, I might be wrong. One Blu-ray alone is 100 gigs. Yeah, something like that. So if the game is big enough to fill up one disc, then I understand. Rockstar's not going to disappoint. So No. I mean, it's, it's I, what I want to know is it two discs for Xbox One. That's what I'm curious <laughs> I think they're they're Blu-ray too, so I don't think it's going to be an issue. So it'll be the same thing. It's not going to be like any different, any difference. No, nah, that's fine. So what else you wanted to talk about? Um, well, there's a bunch of stuff throughout all media. Yeah. Uh, first and foremost, two shows got canceled by Netflix, dun, and dun, I'm kind of happy. I'm kind of happy they did because. When they announced season two for both of them, I kind of cringed about it. I have yet to see them. I heard that one of them was good. One of them wasn't so great. And that's Iron Fist and Luke Cage. They both got canceled. And I remember after watching The Defenders, I was like, why are they renewing it? Why don't they do just do Heroes for Hire? I feel like Heroes for Hire would be a substantially better show, especially because... It's really, it's kind of about money rather than being like this super great superhero kind of thing. And it would be more of a comedy than it would this extremely serious kind of role. Mm -hmm. And I feel that it would be really good because you can still have your serious moments. I'm looking at Shameless, for example, a show where it's it's comedy, but at times it gets really serious really quickly. Yeah. Heroes for a Hire could be that. And in canceling both shows, it could go to that realm because they both released – well, they didn't both. Uh, Luke Cage just got canceled yesterday. I I, uh I think – Go ahead. But when Luke K, but when uh, Iron Fist got canceled, Netflix put out a post that the immortal uh, Iron Fist will live on. So he will do cameos or something. I'm guessing on I'm the other two defenders. That's going to happen, but I don't know. I don't think they can bring the series back. That's for sure. Since both of the seasons end up with uh, uh, cliffhangers. Well, and that's where the heroes for hire goes into play. Okay, I understand maybe they can pull that off, but 
you're gonna have to have like at least three episodes of for each character to explain what the fuck happened. Not necessarily. I Bro, don't think if it's... you saw how it ended, I, I, you would agree with me. Yeah, I mean, I still need to. They're they're, they're definitely. Which on I my can't get into list. it. So I know we'll do it. We'll we'll save it for next time. I'm I'm gonna make it an effort at least during uh, Thanksgiving break. It's um, with the little one. It's hard because the missus doesn't want to watch anything. No, I, I outside understand. of that, uh-huh. I will say the show that she is into. Granted, we've only watched two episodes. Mmm, delicious. What? But we started watching a show that I think you already completed, The Haunting of Hill House. Holy it's a shit. fantastic show. Fantastic. So far, so good. Oh, no. You're, you, you, you will not be disappointed in that show. Oh, I'm not. I, I love it so this, far. This I think show it's absolutely great. Is when they say haunting, it's... More than just the haunting of ghosts, it's the haunting of of mistakes of past of of regrets. It's there's so much I've never seen anything like where there's so much drama. I, I mean, I could say Stephen King's wrote this this the show because there's so much drama in there, and it, it is within the story of a ghost story, but. I mean, they hit a lot of uh, like uh, topics that are affecting this family without me giving too much thing, you know. But number one would be, uh, you know, mental disease is one of them. And I can't, you only seen two episodes, I can't get much in there. But it is truly one of the best ghost stories I've ever seen just because of the way that they put drama into this show. It's not just there for the scare if 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 i if you understand what i'm saying yeah no trust me there were multiple times where uh we have our we keep our doors open so we can hear of our our kids crying so we have like the door closed and we're constantly fluctuating the volume because yeah. we think it's going to be a jump scare but the show really doesn't do jump scares thus no, far no I'm, no but when you do get it, one trust me be ready it's no, they're they're intense. It's, Yo, bro, I, the beginning when she, when he runs out telling the kid not to look. You know that was in episode yeah. one, right? And you see that yeah. lady in the background. Yeah, that was. This is a show I that mean, that it's it had to be a show, and not a movie, because it takes. And I hate to use the comparison, but it it uses the same uh, tricks that Arrested Development did for Netflix, whereas is. Each episode is based on one character. And when you watch that episode, something that happened on the episode before with that character will will, will make sense in the next episode. I don't Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's what I... Uh, it's basically like that. So each episode is... is is gonna be based on one character, and it's great. It's just fantastic. Um, yeah, so that was that was uh, something else that I really enjoyed. So, did you see the news about? Well, uh-huh. Oh, go ahead. No, what were you gonna say? News of what? Um, about Square Enix. So, there's been a lot of kind of like hoopla about this game. Because they keep showing it. Have you heard about The Quiet Man? The Quiet... Oh, the one with the guy who's deaf? The game is completely silent. I don't know how I feel about that, but... Because you... Obviously, it's because you're playing the character, right? Right. I... I mean, I'm open for these type of games, but I feel that a lot of people are going to re- reject the game immediately because of this. But the thing is, is it, if you beat the game, you can go back and play the game with sound. With sound. Okay. I I think it's interesting, but I, I think it's going to get a lot of bad feedback because there's, I mean, especially here in the United States where people are just absolutely unopen for shit you know that like you, you we worked a blockbuster people will not give 
a try for or let's say Pan's Labyrinth just oh because it was in Spanish with subtitles. You or remember it was that? Letterbox. Or it was Letterbox. That that's how closed minded people are. And gamers are no different. If you're gonna give them a game that's gonna be completely silent, there's gonna be a lot of people who are gonna say fuck it. In fact, I'll tell you how much of an ignorance it is with people that when you went to go see The Quiet Place, do you remember that? Yeah. Did you see it? Loved it. Loved it. When you see place. The Quiet Place, right before you go in on the name, on the title that's usually on top of the doors, it tells you that the movie is subtitled. Did you know? Did you did you ever notice that? And it tells you it's subtitled because some people will not sit through the movie as subtitle, even though you need the fucking subtitles because it's the quiet place, right? They're whispering, they're whispering to the point where you can't hear what they're, they're saying. They're not whispering; they're using sign language. Well, I mean, there's sometimes they have said like really, really low tone words, and you, you, they still have to put subtitles. God, and people are so movie. people are so stupid that they would stand up and leave if they see subtitles. But you see what I'm saying? Do the examples I'm giving you? What do you think well, is going to happen when you give them a game that's completely stupid? We have this conversation every week. I don't know. How I many understand times I have what to I'm tell saying you is that, that people are stupid. This is why we need a purge. <laughs> I'm just saying that this could be the greatest artistic movie ever, uh, artistic game ever. I just think it's being utilized wrong. Yes. I think that what would make it better is if there were select portions of the game that would be completely mute. If that makes yes. any sense. Yeah, no, that makes sense. That's and fine. You, and you can puzzle it together when like having multiple characters and each character plays out a scene. Yeah. And because he's deaf, that would entice you to want to keep playing because you know what's happening and you could see it in the background. Like it would be one of those things like he's at the bar and you could see the people talking in the background. But because he's deaf, you can't hear it. And it's a key point of the story. And then when it cuts to a different character something else would happen and now you don't know who to trust or who to blame or things along those lines that would entice an aspect of that game but a game that's completely silent all the way through i mean it's gonna be tough to sit through in my opinion it might be really tough to sit through all yeah. completely quiet which is no offense to deaf people which are obviously are not listening to us right now or maybe they are they're reading subtitles but it's, it's going to be tough to sit there and, and, and not be able to hear an explosion or a gunfire. It's, I don't know, it playing a game where you're only you're only going to be able to hear you pushing buttons on a controller. That could be annoying. Yeah, I don't know how long I could put up with some kind of nonsense. I like don't know that. either. But talking about Square Enix, they dropped almost... Forty dollars or something? No, I think it was like thirty dollars for the price of 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 uh, Tomb Raider. Shout out the Tomb Raider. Already in less than a month. You haven't heard of this news? No. So Steam once again, PC gamers. I love you guys, but you need to take a breather. They they're uh, they're backlashing by by giving it negative reviews. The negative bombs, what they call them, or something on Steam. And they're they're fucking complaining, you know, because people pre-order that game. Some people paid the extra ten dollars or the extra twenty dollars so they could play it three days early, and they dropped it like thirty bucks. So right now on Steam, it's got like super low low scores. And when you know in Steam, if you have low scores, they don't even show you on the. They don't show you in the in the front page or anything, so nobody will be able to find your game. That's crazy. But, I mean, come on, man. Really? A month later? I understand Black Friday, but you're going to lower it a month later? That's fucked up. They didn't get the sales. They didn't meet them goals. Or they did, Which and they're I just understand. trying to get some more. But 
moves like this is what makes gamers not want to pre-order the game. It's going to come back and bite other companies in the ass by doing things like this. I'm telling you, you start giving discounts a month later. Why does the why does the gamer have to pre-order or make sure to get the game on day one when he can just wait three weeks and get it $30 cheaper? I'm not yeah, saying everyone's like that. I know everyone's not like that. I know that you want to play Red Dead on the first day. But let's assume 10% of people are willing to wait well, just so they can get $30 less. If it's anything like Grand Theft Auto V, your, your ass is going to wait a hot minute. Exactly, but I mean, it's I mean, that's that's. But I mean, that's that's the rarity of the quality of game. I I understand what you're saying. At the same time, I think that the sixty dollars sticking point for a lot of games, it's not, it's not worth it. I don't I don't know that the I games I, I, have the prestige that they once did, that really forces you to shell out the forty dollars. I, I, I go to, agree. I go to um, the conversation we were talking about uh, a couple of days ago. It was my it, Dylan and myself were kind of talking to each other, and Dylan brought up the great fact that uh, we're slowly getting away from the first person shooter, and the golden age of the fighting game is coming back. And he says this with the announcement that Soul Calibur Six is doing really well. Yes, it is. Which uh, I, I totally wise, forgot that that game was coming out. Review wise, it's doing really well, and he wants to get it, but he's like, "I can't, I can't drop the sixty on it." And I told him, "You know, neither can I. Just wait." But that's that's the sad truth. A game like that, it doesn't warrant. The sixty dollars, but you're telling him to wait to Black Friday. I read the text you tell him wait to Black Friday. Absolutely, but, but by the rate it's going, you don't have to wait to Black Friday anymore. No, you're right. You and just wait a month. I mean, that's where that's where I'm at with a lot of games, though. Like, um, like I got Tekken on Black Friday. I, in all honesty, I haven't even put Tekken back in my PlayStation, and it, I love Tekken. It's just, it's not. No, I, I understand. There, I got it too. There's I played something it like a about Bando Namco, uh, uh, that that uh, the Namco Bandai franchises, dude. Between Tekken and Soul Calibur, at one point those two games were literally like the pinnacle of fighting. They were so beautiful. They were so fluid, and putting them in the systems now, I feel like they have not changed anything i feel no. like the they they have not updated their characters at all and it's sad because <laughs> it, it's they're they're beautiful games still but they still look like they're playstation 3 graphics do you think so i thought it looked a little bit better but i know what you're saying I mean, it, it's they, not like the jump that that Street Fighter did. You know? It's not Street the Fighter jump that Street Fighter did. It's not the jump that Injustice did, or Mortal um, Kombat. Yeah, no, those games, those Hell, two even, are even a game that's never been Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, is, or, is, or the Naruto game. Those games are beautiful in and of itself. They're showing, they're showing you different styles. They're showing you even for the Naruto games. They th- each game is is kind of like ups the next one, you know, the the one before. Every time it looks better and better and better. And then Tekken is just like far behind. The Samurai Showdown, though, that's the one I'm really looking forward to. Well, that that one better look different. Shit has been thirty years. Oh, it's maybe such a 20. great game. I don't know, maybe twenty. Maybe I'm that's, exaggerating. But even still, the, the fact that that game's coming back, um. There was something it's, else that he threw on that list. There, there are so many fighting games coming out. Well, he likes fact, Blaze Blue, and there's another one. You're right, King of Fighters. And, I don't and, know. Then, <laughs> and then there's that big game with all the animes that's going to be coming out. Oh, I I don't know about that one. That sounds like it's going to be a disaster. Did you see it? I've actually seen gameplay of it. 
It looks okay. No, it looks good. It looks doesn't really look. No. It doesn't look like the Dragon Ball Z Fighter game. Are you sure you and I are talking about the same game? Because I saw it yes, running. Yes, 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 yes. I know what you're talking about. In my opinion, it's my opinion. I wanted it to. If I was going to do it like that, I wanted to see it like a Dragon Ball Z style. It is like the, a dra- the, game, it's- the, the game. No, it's not because it's the 3D Dragon Ball Z style. Oh, you're talking, I'm talking about you Dragon Ball Z cell-shaded. fighters, cell shaded that looks like the cartoon. Yeah. That's what I would have liked to seen it like. I, I think know it's you. because they're using so many different animes that they're trying to keep it one kind of aesthetic. I could be wrong, but that's where it looks like it's going. I mean, I'm I a guess. little, I'm a little sad that Light won't be in it. He's just like a character watching from the background who light from death note well he doesn't really fight no he doesn't <laughs> fight at all exactly so then but i wanted him to fight he should be a summon and he just writes the character's name down ryuk <sighs> i love ryuk we'll see that's a rental for me depends it it, it really depends based off of scores um, Yo, you see that map changing the subject to for Fallout seventy six? Finally, every, a change. Everything about Fallout seventy six I've read so far, it seems like it's a big disappointment. I wasn't gonna say disaster, but disappointment is right there. But the it map, just, I like that they ahead. fixed the map. I hate the maps in Fallout. <laughs> I hate them. The well, fucking yeah, but it's it's old technology, so. It doesn't mean that you can't... Well, I mean, I don't know why they're not using the green and black colors. But for what I think, it's not on your Pip-Boy. Am I saying that right? Yeah. I think it's an actual actual map. map. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Which is fine with Um, me. I I hate getting lost. Yeah. I just... I don't know, man. It's... Like Skyrim was another complicated map. Yeah. Yeah. It was like really hard to to find where you're going, which is doesn't it didn't take away from it. I'm just saying it was really hard. Yes, good. Bethesda is one of those games. Did you ever play it, Firewatch? I did. I didn't beat Firewatch, but I played it. But I it was really the same thing. It. The map, the map was the same. Yeah, no, it was difficult to traverse, but I liked that about that game. That was I really liked Firewatch. The concepts of it. And, I didn't and, finish it. In but Assassin's I, Creed Odyssey, if you decide to play Adventure Mode, I think it's called. I think it's Adventure Mode. Um, I can correct that next time if I'm wrong. You play without anything on the map. You have to go by directions. Again, that massive going by directions, it'll take you twice as long. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They're like, they'll tell you, no, you have to go all the way down. It's like a Puerto Rican giving direction. And you're going to see a tree, and then in that tree, take a left. You go out there, you should see a guy that has a red shirt that's running with a bunch of goats. From there, you have to talk to that guy, and blah, 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 blah. And that's how you find places, which you can still get those conversations in the game. But if you put adventure mode, if you go to the map, you're not going to get the, uh, you know, the little symbols and shit. Yeah. So it's like, a real a real adventure getting lost and shit anyway uh getting away from Fallout 76 did you hear Borderlands is coming for PlayStation VR I did um it's not enough to get me to get VR I don't think so either if anything I mean how long come on let's be honest when you used to put Borderlands on. How long did you play? Oh, dude, I played the fuck out of Borderlands, and yeah, I don't like know that what? I can three, four hours. Out yeah, of I don't know that I can you can't have that do on that my with, face for four hours. No, I don't think so. I I think this is the part where people are forgetting that nobody wants to put that shit on for more than two hours. It's kind of like the Wii. Um, and exactly. When, and when Zelda came out, my buddy Adrian. He thought it was so great. And then by the end of it, he was just like laying on his couch, just like swinging his hand back and forth to kill people. And he's like, this is stupid. 
Yeah, because you don't want to be swinging the real sword. It's a fucking game. Yeah, you get tired after a while. It's, I mean, it's just like, there's some things that are cool, but after a while, it gets pretty annoying. And let yeah. me tell you, I'm a little worried about uh, permanent death <laughs> on my horse on Red Dead. I'm but, not. I, I mean, I'll be stealing horses up and down, but if, 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 binding your love with your horse is important and then someone shoots my fucking horse and then I have to start all over? Oh, come on. I think that... I I, I get what you're saying, but I also think that it's... There's aspects of it. I, I really do. I, I think that... You know in the movies when there's like a cowboy or Lord of the Rings, when they approach danger, they always jump off the horse and they kind of tell the horse to stay back. I feel that that's going yeah. to be one of those characteristics that you're going to get into big time. If you're going to do that, then I want the whole package. If my horse's leg breaks, then I want to be able to be able to kill it like they did back then. I don't think you're I, for a horse to get its leg broken. I don't think they're gonna have anything. To give that me degree. that. I don't care how it is. Give me the, give me the ability to take up my horse, in a dramatic way. If I feel that it can't make it. If you're telling me that this bound between your character and the horse is so important, trust me, man. People fucking had to kill their horses, and it was tough. Oh yeah, that's gonna be. There's gonna be a lot to this game, though. I, this, there's so much going into this game, and between those three, between Assassin's Creed, Red Dead, and Fallout, man, you're talking a lot of time. A lot, too much time. I, I, that's why I think people are gonna overlook Fallout. I think people are gonna. I don't know. I'm kind of glad that this year is kind of ending with uh, with Red Dead. Granted, you still have Battlefield coming out and you have Smash coming out after that. But after that, there's nothing really big coming out. No. And so, I think so that's January. smart. And I think <laughs> that's smart. I, I really I really think that the landscape of the way video games are nowadays, we're seeing the shift, and I think that's kind of the permanent shift that it's going to be. I, I think there's going to be that little bit of space from November till January, and then games will start coming out again. That's fine. I don't mind it like that. I don't but either. From, from December to January, it's going to be... I mean, for me, it's going to be like... Like a kid waiting for Christmas, you know, on the night before Christmas. I just wish that companies would release stuff over the summer. Um, but the I, drought I, has always been there, and it'll I never know, change. But the, but the thing is, is here's people. The kids aren't playing out. Okay, so let me let me rephrase this. Kids aren't the only people buying video games anymore. Adults buy video games too. From there, kids don't really play outside like they used to. And there's just this huge gap in the summer. And listen, there are plenty of people, be it Florida or Texas or New Mexico or Nevada. Let me tell you, dude, it's too fucking hot to go outside. I've been to Vegas in the middle of summer. Dude, it's 98 degrees at 12 o'clock at night. It is balls hot. Because you're in the middle of the desert. And that temperature Isn't it cold doesn't... Dr- in the it, night it does, in the desert? Not, not during the summer. It doesn't cool like everybody thinks it does during the summer months. In the winter, it does. But in the summer, it does not cool like that. It is hot. And... I remember I um I went to Vegas with a with Adrian and we stayed with some of his friends that lived out there and 
I asked him, I said, how do you guys put up with this heat during the summer? And he's, and the guy explained it to me, just the perfect example. He says, you know how in the winter, if you're in Minnesota, you don't go outside? And I said, yeah. He goes, change the temperature. It's the same thing. <laughs> but it's it's the same thing. You You don't go outside. And I really feel that between the South being so goddamn hot, kids being not going outside anymore and a lot of people play video games at night i don't see why you don't take the risk at least and try to release something over the summer i guess it could or i mean steam just gives you sales so you could buy games that you couldn't buy during the winter something but i mean no i'm talking summer not not winter no, I'm saying for the games that you couldn't buy in the winter, they give you big sales so you can buy them and you can play in the summer. But I don't know. I guess companies don't put them in the summer because they assume that people are out in trips and shit. That's what I'm yeah. assuming. People yeah, are on I mean, vacation. It's a, it's a fair assumption. I'm not going to deny your assumption. I just, it just makes a lot of sense. Because nobody's releasing anything at that time. It's kind of like how Marvel discovered that, hey, we can release a, a Marvel movie in February and it will do great. Because mm-hmm. there's nothing out at this time. And any movie we want to take a risk with, we can do it. A la Black Panther. And this year it's going to be uh, Captain Marvel. I feel that games that are going to be released in the summer have to be games that can last the whole two, three months like multiplayer type of games. Yeah. A campaign is not going to be enough. Or at least give me a campaign and a multiplayer, but something that, that you can stretch out the whole summer that you can be like all these big games, which come on, let's be honest, it'll never happen. But these games like Red Dead, Assassin's Creed and Fallout, just one of those games in the summer should just last you the whole summer. Yeah. Even and they if you will. go on a trip. And they will, of course, bro, I'm telling you. You're going to play Assassin's Creed. They're not going to finish the game before Red Dead comes out. A lot of people will not finish that game before Red Dead comes out. Red Dead will come out and they'll stop playing Assassin's Creed and they'll play Red Dead. By the time they're done with Red Dead, they'll jump back in Assassin's Creed and nobody will look at Fallout. I'm telling you, it's Fallout. It was just... Fallout's in a bad way, man. It's in a bad bad area especially coming out i think in november 15th or something like that people will still be playing red dead and if red dead comes out with the online feature in the mid-november then they're even more fucked no it's gonna be a beta test See, i it's i i don't i think red fall this might be the 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 fallout to fail new vegas didn't do so well either though did it come out when something big came out no, I just remember it came out and everyone's like, oh shit, it's out. But that was a game that should have been a DLC. That Maybe. shouldn't have been a that game shouldn't have been a standalone. I never played it. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't great. In fact, I had like three copies that I bought for like a dollar or two dollars from Blockbuster when it was going out of business. No, and I, I still remember didn't that. Play. They were done like the two bucks because they over. I remember too. Fallout came out and they didn't have that many copies, and then Fallout Vegas came out and they bought too many copies, and people weren't renting them. So then they didn't know what to do with them. Yeah. Talking about spending money, Overwatch, Halloween skins. Did I talk about this? I don't think I did. Nope. This time I saved my fucking gold. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't make the mistake I made with the with the Olympic one. I saved my gold and I was able to buy a couple of the ones that I wanted. Diva didn't get anything for Halloween, but I got mercy. I got a bunch of shit without having to play and pray to God that I get a gold box, which is you know it sucks. Dude, the advertising for that game is so good. It it's is so well done. I hate the game, but the advertising is awesome. I, g- I give credit. I give credit where credit's due, man. I, I have no problem admitting that they, the 
the design for it is so bro they well changed done. the levels into halloween i mean that's so, sweet it really is so so it's like the same level like there's a level where you play uh in a castle during the day and it's like an abandoned castle and it's like it, when you play it normally it looks like it's you're going through a historical monument right but and during the halloween time that you play at night and then they change it into a, like a haunted castle so it's 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 cool and then they have a movie studio that you usually play during the day but when you play it in halloween it's at night and everything is like halloween props because you're in a movie studio and the community it's funny how the community is uh, you know when you play when you play with other people they all pick the halloween costumes <laughs> everybody's playing in halloween costumes i don't know it's like I, I just enjoy the community and I like Blizzard the way that they take care. I mean, sometimes they're a little bit overboard, you know. Don't be toxic, but but sometimes it's 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 like I've had a couple of complaints and fights with with players that just sit there. What? Let me tell you, I had a I played with a group of five, Frank. I think it's a, usually it's a team of six. Or is it a team of five? I don't know. But I was the only one not in the group. And those guys, they sat down and they didn't move. They just let the game lose. On what do you mean? Move. They didn't play. They just stayed. They just didn't move. But so why? I, because they, you weren't because part of the group? No, they didn't do anything. They didn't even move from the fucking... Uh, sometimes you play defense sometimes you play attacker when you're the attacker you're supposed to escort but, us but it's because you wouldn't help them I'm, I'm confused no, no, they just, I, I don't know they wouldn't talk they weren't doing anything I seriously think they were just trolling one person that would end up in the group and and it's in competitive move which means that if you lose you your ranks go down it sucked, bro. It sucked. Normally, if it's one person doing that, the group votes them out. But when it's five people and you're the one guy, I reported them. And Blizzard, you know, they saw it. They saw the footage of the game and shit, and they, they took care of it. But uh, How did, they, did they take care of it in an aspect of, like, they didn't punish you or what? I think they suspend them. No, they didn't punish me. And I think they suspend them. For like a day or two or whatever, and if it happens again, then I mean, fucking assholes. They, they they ruined the game for me. So I'm like, you know, one guy against a team of six because my team is not doing anything. So that, that's the kind of toxic, tox, toxic shit that 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 Blizzard doesn't want. And sometimes you got to report them. Yeah. Anywho, what else we got? So I picked up a game. Uh, actually, I picked up two games on a uh, on a sale that PlayStation had. One of them was Need for Speed Payback. Okay. Um, it's a beautiful game. It's one of the most beautiful racing games I've played in a long time. I love the customization of the game and the way Need the cars. I wonder if I can get that. But, Is it good? You recommend it? But... Okay. Jesus Christ, is it bad when it comes to like leveling up? First and <laughs> foremost, there are little cards that you use to level up your car. So you just, it's not like your typical racing game where you get a turbo and then you can get a better turbo and you can get a better turbo. No, there are different turbos and different turbos do different things. But it doesn't really mean anything. Okay. Like it's randomly generated. So, like, <laughs> you will see... So, you'll go to the tune-up shop to, like, get new turbo. But there's four of them. And they're, like... It's like a card game. What? And they're random. And then every once in a while, you'll see on the screen, hey, the tune-up shop just got a new shipment in. So if you didn't buy the turbo the last time, that turbo's gone. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
this was all based off the fact that they were trying to do microtransactions with this game. Fucking EA. Then, in the old racing games, you'd have to level up. You X amount of races you do, you unlock shit, right? Mm -hmm. Now it's like you have to crash through six billboards and now you can unlock a roof scoop. You got to drift. You have to unlock 16 drift events and then you can get new fenders and all this other nonsense. And I'm like, this is stupid. Like, this <laughs> made the game bad. But that's not my biggest gripe with the game. Even though they fixed the biggest gripe, holy hell, the voice acting and the concepts in the game are so bad. So stereotypical. <laughs> Uh, like, you take the biggest douchebag bro guy who, like, masturbates to the Fast and the Furious with his goddamn Gucci hat and Supreme t-shirt and Jordans. <laughs> okay. And that doesn't even equal what the fuck is being said in this game. <laughs> it is so bad. So they probably and got somebody is, who assumes that's how they talk. But like, so like you, there are three characters and each character is good at a different type of racing. So if you do racing, you race with the white guy. But if you're doing drifting, you drift with the black guy. And if you're drag racing, you drag race with the girl. And they'll call you to like, hey, where you at? But it's like, yo, fam, where you be? And he's like, <laughs> I'm at the drag strip. It's lit, yo. And I'm sitting there like, I'm going to commit suicide. This is so bad. <laughs> I'm going to crash I'm, this car into the lake. I am not making – no, commit suicide in real life because <laughs> people talk like this. Once again, we need a purge. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> EA fixed it, though, because you can totally mute the conversations. Oh, thank God. So I muted it. But there are times where you're doing a mission and one car pulls up to your car and they're probably like, yo, your mama's fat and yo, your mama's stupid kind of stuff. But you can't hear what they're saying because, you know, you muted it. So I have no idea what's going on in the story. I'm just like, I want to race cars and make them look really cool. That's oh my really god! It. But it's it's a nightmare. This is why. It, Go ahead. It's just bad. I mean, as a guy who who loves cars and is into like that kind of aesthetic of of tuning up cars, when before the Fast and Furious came out, I was really into the tuner scene back in the late nineties, early two thousands. I used to get um, the magazines and stuff back in the day. I was really into it. And then I got out of it because, you know, adulthood and stuff. Uh-huh. But I still enjoy the cars and I still enjoy the concepts of the cars. I mean, you've seen my car. Um, I, I, I love toys like that. It just – it sucks that it is so bad. And I go – and I look at the first Need for Speed Underground, and it had those concepts, but it was never voice acted. You got like text messages, like "Meet up at the spot." I'll be there. Like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. No, I mean, and Burnout did was, it better too. But there was no voice acting, no nothing. And no, yeah. You would save so much money in production. So I'm much you, money. Burnout which I played recently, didn't have any talking at all. Except for DJ Atomica, who can talk but DJ anywhere. Atomica, but yeah, but it wasn't like, it wasn't annoying to listen to him because it sounded like a real DJ. I know. I miss DJ Atomica. He they never I really don't talk to you either. One of my favorite games of all time was uh, SSX3. Uh -huh. I don't know if you ever played that one. I played but one it was SSX a long time ago. But it was on a mountain. And DJ Atomica would constantly be like, so I got new music from, I don't know, the Struts. And then it would play. 
And then as you're snowboarding, so one of my favorite characters, his name was Moby. He'd be like, and if you won the race, he would like, and then you, you go on to the next scene and you're snowboarding. It is like, yesterday, you should have saw it. Moby was killing it on the half pipe, blah, 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 blah. And you other snowboarders out there better watch out. It was really cool. It was really interactive. No, I don't yeah. know. I don't know why they don't go back to that kind of thing where that worked really well. I don't I don't get. But then again, well, they're they're appealing to an audience that is dumb. I guess we just need a purge. Burnout, you just have to push the right and the right uh um D-pad. Remember push run and D-pad and that would just cause a race. That would yeah. let somebody know. No talking, no nothing. Just a simple push on the D-pad, boom, and that yeah. was it. And I don't understand why they have to go, eh, it's EA, brother. Yeah. So the other game I got is fucking amazing. Oh, I got I Dead Cells. How far have you gotten without dying? Fuck, Dead Cells is good. Fuck, is it good? Fuck, is it good? It's so good. <laughs> it's so good. Jesus Christ, it's so good. I've killed the first boss, and that was it. When you kill the first boss, did you get killed any time with him? Did he kill you? He killed me the first time I got to him. I wasn't prepared. I kind of just was like going through the motions, and it's like, oh shit, there's a boss fight. Um, I kind of know the layout and the weapons I like. I kind of wish there was a way that it it was easier to get those weapons, but it's not. But it's it's such a good game. I didn't and get I go, too far in the game because I was still injured by then. I go back to when I bash a game like Assassin's Creed, the attention to detail and the little shit is what makes that game so good. Versus the big open worldness, and they're like, "Look how pretty it is." I would much rather have these pixelated sixteen bit graphics, but superior precision and animation over well, what you. That's, well, that's me. retro, yeah, because it's retro. Retro is attracted to people who I don't think that too many people who are who who never played retro like retro. Even but it's not Dead just Cells that, but like Dead Cells and Inside play so well. And then I see something like Assassin's Creed and you say I'm nitpicking. But I'm like, look at these other games that have way less of a budget that are so much smoother. I guess, but I'm not going to get into that because when I talk to Assassin's Creed now, I'm going to talk about what, where I played it. And then from there, um, you know how I nitpick about shit all the time, right? Yeah, I think all our audience know that. You, know, the one thing I can't nitpick, and I thought about it today. I can't remember what made me think about it, but I love Overwatch in the aspect of they make sure everything is aesthetically correct. Yeah. Regardless of whatever it is, even if it's the finest little detail, they make sure it is right. And I think that is huge. They you know, do. we but but when I say something about shit, I'm the asshole about it. But very few people praise something that gets shit right. I go to Diva, for example, because Diva is a Korean, and in her summertime outfit, she had a flower that looked like a hibiscus, which is, memory serves me right, which is a Hawaiian flower. And somebody mentioned that, and then it's like, no, this is actually a Japan, this is actually a Korean flower that only grows in this specific area, and blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, Jesus Christ, that's beautiful. That, that is what I'm talking about, because actual Koreans who play the game and appreciate it love that kind of aspect. Exactly. 
yeah, there's a but, lot that goes into this game. But when I bitch about something minute, I'm the biggest asshole. And I go to the conversation that we had with Aladdin. Oh, and, my God. That was just. But it's but the thing is, is once again, it's this concept of, yeah, it's cool that it's a lion's head. But lions really have nothing to do with that type of culture. Neither do tigers. We talked about this. There's no no, tigers in Saudi Arabia. But it's not based off Saudi Arabia. But the concept is, is the tiger is more of that realm and that ethnicity. I disagree. There's no tigers that goes with that ethnicity. Yes, there are. No. No. You have the rich people in Dubai who probably are the only ones if who buy tigers. If you're talking Saudi shit. Arabia, but once again, if you're talking Saudi Arabia, that's one concept. But it goes back to um, what, Frank? I mean, a sultan. It, it, it's it's sultan, sultan is Turkish. It's well, uh, it's Turkish. Yes. Okay, so then that shouldn't be there either because it's uh, right. Th- well, well, the well the cons that's the that's the big thing about it. And when at the end of the day, though, when we go full circle with this, one of the things that Disney's trying to do now is not do injustice to people. And I give you the example: if um if people took Puerto Rico right, and then somebody slapped Day of the Dead shit to it. That would be an insult to Puerto Ricans. Am I right or am I wrong? There is Day of the Dead in Puerto Rico. There is a Day of the Dead in Puerto yes, Rico. Yes, they do celebrate Day of the Dead. Not at the same time as, as Mexico, but there is a Day of the Dead party type of thing. But I understand what you're saying, but that is a way different comparison to... You're but making it, it, but, you're making it sound this, like people but this from, is... from a fake country, which is, is a fake country... Oh no, Middle, I know that. Th- this is supposed to be but it, Middle uh, but Eastern. Once again, but the thing is, is the lion is only indigenous to Africa. But like, I don't the, think people are going to watch this and think, oh my God, why but, is but it a lion? You're making it look like people are going to get offended and they're not. But once again, it goes back to this aspect where Overwatch is doing a right. And everybody's like, this is awesome. But when I point out that something's wrong, I'm the asshole. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, but that – okay, that's different. You're talking about <laughs> – Is it you, though? You're, no, like, because but, you're but, talking about an artistic view over flaws when it comes to things right, that you're but pointing out on but, games. But like I said, it goes back to we're going to make this look cool because we're doing this. But the, and the, in the but, books, but, and, nothing in, in the books, nothing explains. First of all, the original story of of Aladdin is Chinese. Okay, so you don't see any dragons, right? Of it taking place in China. No, I, I read then it, was, it was it was it was based off of the Thief of Baghdad. That's what it I read. Started in China. Look it up. It does. The original story was Chinese, and it worked its way down to you know, you know to the. Uh, Arabian Nights type of thing, but it doesn't really matter because if if you would have told me that Aladdin was blonde with blue eyes and they're whitewashing, then I would tell you yes, I agree. But you're making it look like people in this particular area are going to be mad because they put a lion over a tiger. They're really not going to care. Yeah, I mean, I think people will bitch more that the mouse is not in fucking Dumbo. Over the lion's head in the the mystic cave over a tiger's head. This is in my opinion. I mean, how are you not going to have the mouse who helps Dumble fly? Well, I mean, it's just a change of artistic points. It's just well, a- yeah, but the but the it, even still, it doesn't. If things are done well, and my big argument is if if the transition is done well. It's fine. Like um, Jarvis, Jarvis wasn't an AI in. Yes. Um, he, he was. was he was an actual person. Yeah, but they changed that aspect to be something different, and it worked well. Yeah, if but you that, ch- 
Yeah. If you can ahead. change it and it works well, that's that's that to me is is what makes something great. I know I bitch and complain a lot, but that's because people do dumb things all the time, but and it's that's a, easy I for me. And it's easy for me to pick out dumb things and. And that's why, to a certain degree, I don't enjoy a lot of things because it's so easy for me to find the bad. And for something to be truly great, it hardly has any bad to it. Does that make sense? It makes sense, but... Like, don't get me wrong, dude. I love Hideo Kojima. I hate when he puts things in games that make zero fucking sense. The, those things in his games and I get it he's like a super sci-fi nerd I mean hell he just wrote recently that he went to see space he he loves the space odyssey what was it 2001 right is that the full name of it I can't I don't remember yeah. the date 2001 um, space odyssey yeah he it's his favorite movie so much to the degree that he will only watch it when it's re-released in theaters he loves that kind of sci- science fiction stuff. I can't fault the man for doing something that he loves when he throws one of them random things in it. It's something that I personally hate. But if you have that one flaw in an otherwise masterpiece, I'm going to give it to you. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Because every single one of his games, he has something that's fucking stupid. The biggest one that sticks out for me is... Is the goddamn typhoon gun in Metal Gear Solid 4, or when he had the guys in Metal Gear Solid 3, it was talking about like, what was that, 1960s? Yeah. The, right before the Cold War, they, there was the guys on the little hover uh, machines where they like stood on it. That shit was so dumb. God, I hate I hated that so much. Okay, I, it, you made your point. But I feel that people will be more bitching about Will Smith being genie. Oh yeah, I <laughs> over, I, I really over hope he that. does well. And the Cave I, of Wonders is literally there for like three minutes because he goes in through the mouth, and once he's in the cave, you never see the lion head again. And then it closes its mouth, and then you don't see it again. Well, no, you see it. Once, because he has to find the di- Jafar has to find the diamond in if the rough. If you put all the scenes together, it's like three minutes. Yeah, I get it. I understand, but we don't know where the Cave of Wonders is. They tell you they leave Ag- Agraba. Am I saying that right? Yeah, I believe so. And they go somewhere else, and they went to the desert. Well, yeah, we this know time, they went. This time, it's it's an actual like cave wall exactly they went to the desert in the in the movie uh last time i checked deserts where where, where can you say the desert is and it's sahara is where the desert is yeah they do have their fair shares of cliffs though i'm just saying in the original aladdin they go to a desert <sighs> no I, were, I get it if you were to calculate where that desert was there were probably a good chance they went to the sahara and Sahara is in Africa. I mean, I'm just saying. No, because I mean, Iraq is a lot of desert. Iran's a lot of desert. There's a lot of desert there. Not the way it looked like that. <laughs> the desert they showed in Aladdin does not look like Iranian desert. There's a yeah. there's a big difference between sand desert and desert like Nevada desert. Which is no, I get it. <laughs> it's just rocks and stuff, like Coyote Desert, Wally Coyote. I, I will say that I don't think I'll be able to watch Dumbo. I will watch like, Dumbo. I, I, I mean, I love elephants, and yeah. I, I don't feel like crying. Like I, I, I don't, I don't care Everybody's what that like sounds cry. like. Everybody cries in Dumbo. Like I don't. Like, that, I still I feel cry like that's, when I see. When I hear the song, yeah, I mean, like that's something I I can I'm pretty sure I can live with, and it looks beautiful. I mean, Tim Burton's the man when it comes to that kind of shit. I just I don't feel like crying. I don't, and it comes to like a baby elephant. Now I'm a dad, and the concept of like losing my kid. Nah, I'm good. Um, so skip it. 
<laughs> I'll be. Yeah, no, I am. I'm just saying, like, I'll be. Oh, speaking of which, I'm going to end on this note. Uh, speaking of Dumbo, and I know I sent this to you. So 2019, because uh, Disney is getting that Fox merger. First yeah. and foremost, Disney is going to reap the benefits of the Dark Phoenix garbage ass movie. So even if it's hot garbage, they're still going to get paid for it. <laughs> Disney is basically printing money. Like they're not they're not getting paid. They're they're literally just making their own money. They're going to make over 10 billion dollars next year in movies. And I'm just going to give you the big title movies. March 8th is Captain Marvel. March 29th is Dumbo. May 3rd is Avengers 4. May 24th is Aladdin. That's just spring. Then we go to summer. June 7th is Dark Phoenix. June 21st is Toy Story 4. July 5th is Spider-Man. July 19th is The Lion King. That's an awfully close. <laughs> Lion King, Aladdin, and Dumbo back to back. Then from there, in the fall, um, I'm not sure what any of these things are. There's there's only two movies that are coming out in the fall. Well, fall is whatever. Winter, they have two more movies coming out. Frozen 2, November 27th. Star Wars Episode 9, December 20th. Jesus Christ, why is there a Frozen 2? That's not including all the other movies that are like in this little feed. I'm just talking they're big movies. They're printing money. I guess. I. I why are they doing Frozen Two, bro? When I started watching uh, Coco and they put twenty minutes of Frozen, I wanted to gouge my eyes out. I wanted to smash my glasses. And what do you now, mean? Twenty minutes of Frozen. Twenty minute Frozen small footage before Coco. Did you know this? I didn't get that when I went. I you must wa- have went opening night. I didn't go opening night. It was a. What short did you get? I don't remember. It was a. Is the Frozen short? It was a Christmas for Frozen. Oh my God! It was twenty minutes long, and it was so stupid. So annoying, and and now they're doing this shit. Like, oh, come on! There's certain movies that you shouldn't give a sequel to, and Frozen is definitely one of them. Um, I I have thousands upon thousands of little girls who would highly disagree with you. Those fucking little girls are now fucking teenagers. Once again, Kristen Bell's Kristen Bell's daughter doesn't want to see. Frozen. I mean, you could, <laughs> if you think so. No, but- they. I, she said it herself. Her daughter hates Frozen. I mean, what I could other? just. I guess you're right. People wouldn't want to see it, but I don't think Frozen is as popular as it was. Whatever. I mean, it's not like Toy Story. Frozen didn't have that Toy Story. To uh, you, dude. Frozen's huge to other people, man. Holy it's shit. Not, it does not have that grip that Toy Story has where it can make it to part four. If anything, Frozen will do part two and that's it. It's done. Unlike something like Toy Story where they can keep going and people... Just, I mean, you're not going to tell me Toy Story 3 didn't, didn't give you a tearjerker. Oh, yeah. Of course. Toy Story 3 was very sad. Yeah, especially like that part when he had to let go of his childhood. Oh, sucks. It sucks. Getting old sucks. Getting old sucks. But, I mean, I even saw the Halloween special, and those were genius. And that was just shorts, and that was fucking genius. Dude, that their Halloween shorts special. are awesome. The Halloween special was so well done. Yeah. Anyway, I guess we've already been talking for an hour. We didn't get to what I wanted to talk about. The Which future was. of gaming. We can save that for next week. By then, people don't even know what Project Stream is. <laughs> I Maybe. still yeah, I still play. I tried it out in another computer. I tried it out on my parents' computer to make sure. And that you that you weren't losing your mind. 
and it works great. Yeah, no, I wanted to make sure. I wanted to test it myself. And, and I tried it on my parents' computer, which is a computer without a graphics card. You know, they, they sell those, right? It's just yeah. It's just memory and chips. And I was still able to play smoothly as long as you got good internet. But we'll talk about that next week. All right. All right. So once again, guys, thank you so much for listening. Sorry that we skipped a week. We had technical difficulties because of Battle.net, but everything ran smooth today, so we wanted to appreciate for everyone who sticked around and listened. Uh, if you guys want to follow us at Evil Metal Gamers in Twitter, you can also find us on Instagram, on Facebook, on <laughs> anything that has social media. You'll pretty much find us with Evil Metal Gamers. Go ahead and hit a subscribe and hit the like too. That helps us out. Uh, and if you want to email us, you can email us at evilmetalgamers at gmail.com. And, uh, we really appreciate everything, and thank you so much. Take care, guys. Love, peace, happiness. And stop.